wanted to share with you my take on the perfect summer sandwich. Uh, with this sandwich, I think the reason why I love it is because of the perfect balance of uh, flavor and texture. Um, and it uses very few ingredients and still delivers such a superior taste. And that's why I wanted to share it with you and I hope that you try it. So yeah, follow along. This is how I make my summer sandwich with just four to five ingredients. You probably have all of these ingredients in your house already. It's just about assembling it in a specific manner. I'm going to start off with chopping up some spring onions. This is what I'm going to use to flavor my butter in which I will toast the bread. Uh, you'll see what I mean later. Uh, but yeah, this is a key ingredient which adds a lot of flavor to the sandwich because we're already using such few ingredients. Next, I'm going to chop up my cucumbers. The key to also having the sandwich taste so good is cutting the vegetables that you're using really, really finely. So if you notice, I'm cutting really thin slices of my cucumber and tomato, uh, which I will then layer onto my sandwich. I'm going to take my loaf of bread and cut two slices. It's really important that you use a good bread also. Uh, uh, I, f I feel like I've already said this before, but because you're using such few ingredients, you need to use really good ingredients for the flavors to sing. So what I have here is a nice multigrain bread, which I'm going to toast up for the sandwich. I'm going to add a little bit of butter into the pan. If you're being healthy, if you want to avoid butter, you can also just replace this with olive oil and it works just fine. Um, and uh, swivel it around, spread it out across the pan. and then add your spring onions and press down your bread on top of the spring onions and the butter. What this does is it creates like, it sandwiches the spring onion while it's cooking in the butter and it also sort of sticks onto the bread and creates like this nice buttery spring oniony base on which you will layer your vegetables. Um, and also the way I like my sandwich is like really well toasted and kind of crispy uh, but you can toast it up to the level that you prefer. Next I'm going to add a nice slice of cheese. I'm going to use cheddar. I really like this cheese because it's quite salty and offers that um, good flavor to the uh, sandwich. You can use any sliced cheese but if you can find like a sliced cheddar um, that would be a good option. Uh, so place it onto your one of your uh, slices of bread and let it melt down a little bit, not too much because you still want a good bite from your cheese. At least that's how I like it. Um, so yeah, um, now I'm going to plate up. I'm going to take my toast down uh, and I'm going to start adding my cucumber, tomato and season it with some salt and pepper and Guys, that's it. It's done. It's so simple, but trust me, it is so salty and crunchy. Uh, it can be a little bit dry uh, if you are used to like a sandwich which is kind of packed with maybe chutney or mayo. So maybe you can have this with like a chai, uh, something to um, offset the dryness. But I love the sandwich as is and I recommend you try it first. Uh, and if your bread is good, um, it will work. Okay, my sandwich is ready and I'm going to taste this and see if it's good. Mm, this is a great sandwich. I've made it many times and my partner and I really enjoy it. In fact, this is going to go to him as soon as I switch off the camera. Um, so yeah, I hope you try it and let me know if you do and let me know what you think of the taste. Bye! I forgot to mention, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I plan on sharing a lot more about my fitness journey, beauty and other recipes that I've discovered and perfected over time. So yeah!